In this video, I'm going to show you how to um, make um, a question bank in Word um, and then import it into the Learning Hub. And you can generate question pools off of the question bank that you have made. Okay, so a couple important things here. Um, make sure you go into the Home tab and display right here. Uh, this guy right here, display your carriage returns, okay? Um, right here and then uh, next make sure that your questions that you write so we're going to write up some questions in Word here's kind of a general template here here's what you need uh, question numbers let's say one it didn't do a period uh, type your question you can leave a space between if you want uh, do one carriage return after so hit enter once make sure to type your full question even if it's on multiple lines so for example like this forgive me for the crazy typing do not hit return until the end of your actual question that you want to ask the student so notice it's at the end even if it spans over multiple lines forgive the crazy typing that's just to show you quickly here so make sure that the only enter that you hit is at the end of the question itself and then if it's a multiple choice question um, then you do the following. Um, you uh, type out your options here. You can choose how you want to number these. You can also choose not to number them. You could do this, for example, if you want uh, for the multiple choice it to display as A, uh, B, uh, C, and D like this. You can do that, just like that. Um, and then make sure for the correct answer, put a star in front of that one hit enter at the end of that option see my enter here okay then you hit enter again between questions start your next question number it here period and then start your question hit enter at the end of the question and do the same here so for example here uh, my option is C then you go into um, the following here um, you can hit return at the end of this one too um, so now we take those questions and we go to this platform through Algonquin College. So if you even just search Algonquin College uh, quiz generator, you will find this link. It is right here. Um, okay. And um, you go down to the bottom right here to the bottom and you literally just copy and paste. Uh, your so you name it if you want to name a quiz here and that will name your CSV file and then you just literally copy and paste from your Word document so I'm just going to grab these two questions control C control V them in okay and then I scroll down and I click on generate test questions okay and whatever it likes it will show in green whatever it doesn't like it will show in red um, so if I do something incorrectly it'll show up as red just make sure your formatting is correct go back and fix it if it's showing up for a question in red uh, and notice that it puts a break here between the questions so it's recognized that these are two different questions because of that return that carriage return um, that enter that you hit between these two questions here um, now I go down to the bottom of this window and I say um, download test questions so first I clicked on generate and everything was happy I looked through everything was green so now I'm ready to click download if it's not green you need to go clean it up and hit generate again uh, you can also clear if you just want to reset but yeah here are my questions at the bottom of the window here uh, and I'm just going to show them in a folder so here they are right here okay uh, and then I'm going to go into the Learning Hub now, or Brightspace. I'm going to go into um, my question library. I like doing it this way. There are several ways to do this. And I'm going to make a new section. So again, I'm in the Learning Hub here, or Brightspace. And um, I go to, uh, easiest way to get to the question library is under Activities and then Quizzes. Go to my question library. Uh, make my new section. Here we are. And... Um, I'm just going to title this sample questions and you can of course choose to hide the section title from the learners if you don't want them to see it just a way for you to organize or you can have them see it this way I go in here to my sample questions okay so I jump into this section and I click on import and I upload a file and this is where I upload that CSV file um, that I had the generator generate this bright space one generated it. I downloaded it. That's the one I loaded in right here I click on import all now I can see my questions here. They are Okay, now I'm done editing those questions And now I go back in and I make a new quiz if I'd like to make a quiz based off of these make a new quiz So this is my sample quiz and here 
under add edit questions this is where I grab those questions okay and now if you would like to just import them one at a time you sure can you can browse the question library this is where you could have also uploaded that CSV file uh, I like to put them in the question library first um, now I so if I wanted to add them one by one I can browse the question library and go grab them now from my section here's my sample questions I want them both so I click on them both click import there they are now the other way to do this I'm gonna make of course too many questions in this but that's okay uh, I'm also going to create a question pool based off of these questions often we like to do that so we add we're back to our options here for adding and importing questions we go to add and go to question pool and um, I'm gonna just call this sample questions again name your pool um, and then I'm gonna select one question from here browse my question library all the way back to my sample questions again and I would check them off right here little note they've already been selected so if I want and I already have them in there it's not going to let me double select them so let's just go back you don't have to actually do this I'm just going to delete these two again you don't have to do that unless you um, want to I'm going to delete that section two and I'm going to go back and just pretend that I just wanted to add them as a question pool instead and so this would be how I would do it as just a question pool um, so I grab one here browse my question library and I grab them the same way here they are so in this section I can just click at the top and it will grab all of my questions or I can select which ones I want from here click import click Save and there they are now in that sample quiz and then I can keep going and set up all my restrictions I'm just going to save and close this sample quiz now and I'm done and you can do many different um, sections this way and uh, add them as question pools or as separate questions if you would like